All right, we got a great video for you today. And the reason why this video is great is because um, we, we located really the two best Asher cuts for our client. And one of them is a clear winner. And one of them obviously is not. So, boom, look at that. Does that just talk uh, volumes to you or what? Okay. This is why pictures stink and video under common lighting is the deal. Okay. And why this a, a visual analysis uh, is what's got to be done. We're looking at these two diamonds under the same lighting. Okay. And it's not the fixed lighting or anything like that. <clears throat> 5,000 degree Kelvin diffused daylight. The Asher on the left is a 2 carat HVS2. The Asher on the right is a 2 carat GVS2. Okay, and um, their optics are really worlds apart. One of them, you got too much light leakage or head body shadow going on in this one. Looks like uh, too much head body shadow. And this one is just grabbing and reflecting light from around the head and above the horizon which that's what we want right there, okay? We got this lighting set up nailed, particularly to show our clients superior optics in the best cut diamonds. So, you're there. Mission accomplished, okay? Now, when we go into spotlighting, check this out. Bam, look at the, look at the reflections of fire just popping off of that asher on the left. Okay, so another reason why I love this uh, video here, this is a call-in that wasn't in vain. Sometimes we call in diamonds for clients or we're trying to weed out what we're looking for. And, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a couple of acquisitions to find a honey like this. And, um, boom, we nailed it. All right, I could stop right there, but I'm going to take you into one last lighting environment here with... Um, the strong spotlighting. All right, and here we are under the stro the stronger spotlighting, and look at this. Bam! All right. So somebody's going to be a happy camper. Somebody's going to be a happy camper. We're going to record uh, on have on file the precise measurements of this Asher here. Uh, you got at least three pavilion angles and th at least three crown angles uh, that have to be studied and analyzed and reciprocated to get that, ki that kind of bang factor out of an Asher because rarely, rarely, rarely do you see it in the world of Asher cuts. All right. And uh, that concludes this video today. I hope that helped. Thank you. Congratulations to the person who gets that, uh, that that beauty on the left.